Very solid, has great pokes. His jab's one of the best jabs in the game. His, yep. for, his forward tilt? Oh, his forward tilt's really good and his jab. Yeah. Laser forward tilt's really hard to beat. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Falco main, so I yeah. really love Falco. Oh, uh, he sticks to Marth. Probably a good choice. Falco's not necessarily the best team's character. Yeah. And they agree. Well, what other stage could it be? Smashville. Everybody loves Smashville. I can understand that. Yeah. I would have liked to see the Meta Knight airship, but obviously that won't happen. <laughs> yeah. It's usually a counter pick. Ooh. Tulin get caught in, getting caught on the edge. Oh, is it? Chillin' putting those mortar shells right, th right over there. Oh, Snake getting caught up in a barrage of aerials right now. Alucari gets the grab. Ooh. Good choices right now from pretty much either team keep trying to box the other in, and it hasn't been working out for either of them too well because both teams have been pretty diligent about staying out of bad spots. Yeah. Oh, uh, here comes Toon Link, though. X. Not looking as fast as he'd like to, but... <laughs> it's a, but it's still working out for him. Yeah, chilling, just getting knocked around. That's one of the downsides of playing Snake. Is because he's so heavy, he's easier to combo, especially in teams. He just gets bounced between all those hits. But yeah, he's, he's still his, heavy. And his attacks aren't. His aerials are aren't very fast. So. Not at all. Oh, there went Axe's first stock right there. Chillin hides behind his mortar shell while Axe comes back, but he gets snagged by a Lucario forward air. Now one thing Chillin could do is he could put a, a Claymore or a, a Remote Mine on that platform right there and just leave it there for a bit and then people don't expect it, he can blow it up and get a free kill. Oh, the C4? Yeah. Oh, there goes Snake. But to do that, he has to give up some of his uh, recovery options. Because he can't blow himself up to get another upbeat. Yeah. See, there yeah. we go. He's being comboed right there by uh, Toon Link. Yeah, it was <laughs> a pretty free 58% right there. Yep. But oh. Marth is tanking those stocks and doing work, so they're still in it. Yeah, it's not nearly as bad for them as it could be right now. Oh, yeah. Although, if Chillin loses another stock, I don't know. Oh, uh, nice work by Chad there. And there's Chillin's next stock. One benefit of dying in this game, though, is you come back with all your moves refreshed. So you have a lot of kill power with the first spawn. So they could just up tilt Toon Link right now to make this even again. Yeah, that, that would be. Oh, he just goes up with the Cypher. Snake needed to have a submachine gun in this game, man. <laughs> I would have loved it. Forward smash! That's the second one we've seen today. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Chillin' dude's got his instant. Okay, he plans to mine up on the platform just like he said. Maybe you heard me. Yeah. All right, let's see. He's letting it sit. Oh, there. For the mortar slide into his own teammate, sadly. I don't know if they, if everybody's aware of the C4 sitting there. I do hope somebody gets hit by it. I yeah. just want to see it happen. I would get pretty hyped. Oh, I, was, I thought he was going to try it there. Oh, uh, it, up. it just went. Oh, it does have a time trigger. Yeah. Alcario getting to the ledge. Snake back airing him right back out. Chillin using those mortars really well on the edge. He's been covering himself with the mortars a lot, like just moving around in general. Yeah. And when his, especially when his partner dies, he's been using that to keep himself safe. Mm -hmm. Nice forward throw there to keep Axe out of the fray. Uh, misses with the F tilt, gets punished for it. It's really been on Milkman to keep his team alive right now. Chillin barely survives that. Milkman doesn't, though. Right. Chillin's in trouble now. He doesn't have another stock to call on. Ooh. Oh, but Milkman with a crucial kill on Chad. Axe needs to get rid of Chillin really fast. Yeah, and that's one of Two Link's downsides. He doesn't have a lot of kill power. He has up smash and then kind of down smash. It's not the strongest move, though. And I guess the second hit of the forward smash, but he can't really call on that in a team's match. Yeah. I like the game plan here of letting uh, Milkman kind of go, go in there and take care of things while Chillin just kind of plants traps. Mm -hmm. And especially if Milkman gets a grab, that's going to be over. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that bomb messing up Milkman's whole life there. Playing all that catch with that bomb. 
tried for the shield breaker. Uh, well, the eyes are pretty well, but oh wow, made Ooh. it to the ledge. Uh oh, this may be. Monkman has some good ledge play there, getting yeah. Axe back out. Oh. Axe trying to rack up Milkman's percentage. It's still, though, if he doesn't land anything on Snake, this is all for nothing. Oh, wow. Oh, there it is. He just... Uh, Axe did not give up, though. It looked, it looked like he might make the comeback. It looked like that for a little bit, but the decisions... The decisions weren't looking very sound from him. like that. Uh, some of the projectiles he placed were just because he felt like, oh, I got to keep throwing stuff at them. Mm. But I mean, as you saw, eventually he ended up running himself into a wall. And the other uh, important thing is that still, or the uh, projectiles reset the stale moves counter. So if he hits with ten projectiles, all his moves are at maximum power again. Okay, so that was probably part of the plan. Mm. But still, it just wasn't looking very promising, even with all the times uh, Milkman got hit by projectiles. It didn't matter how many projectiles he hit either of them with. Yeah. So let's see where they go. I'm not familiar now. Are any of the melee stages available for them to play on? Pokemon Stadium, I know, is. Rainbow Cruise is a lot in some tournament. Let's go back to Smashville. Yeah, Can't blame him. It's a solid pick. Safe pick. All the characters remain the same. Chillin' trying to start a little stronger this time. Not let Milkman hog the glory. Lucario getting lots of aerials in that hard. I got him up to 30%. Soon Link with that infamous back air of his. So good. Yeah. I thought back airs were good in melee. <laughs> we're all just kind of, wow. Landing on that mine. Axe is really good at keeping those projectiles on screen. Yeah, he's been doing a good job so far, except in killing. He gets hit by the mortar there, almost pays over for with his life. Mario goes down. Chad has really not made much of an impact on this set so far. No. Nah. Uh, kind of jostling for position here. Chillin is trying to get land this kill on Axe, who tries to counter the Shadow Ball, but it does not go through. Oh, he didn't finish his F till. Oh, there, there's Snake Stock. Good job from Chad. Toon Link doing a good job of staying alive. Just keep throwing those projectiles out. All right, so. Oh, uh, pretty yeah, even match so far. Yeah, Axe and Chad having a pretty slight lead right the, the, What was I saying? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Commentator's curse. Yeah, alright, we're, we're done. We're done with compliments. This is over. Uh, Chad with a solid recovery there. Trying to pepper them with those uncharged projectiles just to kind of get, get himself some space. Oh, almost hit Marth with the full charge there. Went for the tech chase. Did not get a snake player. Max uh, Milkman on stage. Ooh, almost had him there. Chillin has a really solid grab game right going right now. Oh, there. That should be Chad. Oh, never mind. If the eyes are really well, manages to survive. Oh, did he get? Did he get Chillin? No. Chillin with a great. Oh game. wow. And almost kills Lucario off the top. <laughs> and he paid for it with his own stock. Axe, Axe was just so aware right there. All right, Lucario is super dangerous right now. Oh, he hits Marth with a full charge. Ooh. Lucario's forward throw is also pretty deadly. It's very quick, so it's hard to DI properly. Especially at this percentage. Uh, still manages to survive. Chad right now trying to find an opening to use all that power that he's got stored up. But he just runs himself into an up tilt. All right, so it looks like we're getting an almost even match here. Red team's down by around 80 for some percent. Yeah, I'm, st I'm still looking at Axe and Chad to try not to lose their advantage here. It's looking pretty good for them. There, there goes Milkman's stock. And Chillin's almost down. This is this is looking pretty bleak for them right now. And Axe and Chad are only going to get stronger with Lucario's aura ability. So even if they start to lose, they have that comeback built in. 
Oh, he almost, he was trying to edge hog him there. But doesn't happen very often in Brawl, but Martha's definitely a character it can happen to. Yeah, and Toon Link is a character it is viable on. Is that it? That's it for chilling, dude. All right, so it's all up to Milkman. Milkman's Marth was the star last time, but he didn't manage to keep his stocks as much as he did before. Axe being Axe was being really aware of a lot of things that Chillin' was trying to do. Oh my goodness! Did he get him? Oh, never mind. I keep forgetting that the rolls don't occupy the ledge the way they do in melee. Yeah. So. Yeah. Good, good stuff by Axe and Chad there. They brought it back. So we're going to game oh. three. Let's see if they make any adjustments, character adjustments, or changes. Oh, is it going to go with Puff? Wait, wrong game. Yeah, Puff is not viable in this game. I tried for about a year to make her viable. She doesn't have much. Her forward air is really strong. That's about all she's got really going for her. Yeah, looks like yeah, he'll just stick with Martha. Good choice. I wonder if they're going to go back to Smashville again. I'd like to see something different. Yeah. Just, I mean, just, for, just for variety's sake. Battlefield would be a good stage for him. We're definitely considering their options. Looks like it's going to be Battlefield. Delfino Plaza might also be good. It's easy to kill off the sides in certain transformations. All right, of course, so you could always go Mushroomy Kingdom just to <laughs> upset the odds. Nah. All right. So here we are on Battlefield. Chillin' dude immediately with that forward tilt in on Chad. Chillin's got to watch that Axe doesn't just k take him for a ride the way he did before. I felt that was one of the defining factors of the last match. Yeah. Ch Chillin took so many hits from Axe. Oh, nice work by Axe there to bring him and his partner back onto the stage. A bit of projectile warfare here from Axe, trying to, trying to cover Chad's advances. Blue team, blue team doing a great job keeping control of the stage with their projectiles. Ooh, oh, tipper. gets tippered. Good stuff by the uh, by Milkman. I love how the screen freezes and shakes when you get a tipper. Yeah. Oh, he he had to know that forward smash was coming. I don't know why he why he whiffed that aerial. Yeah. Chad needs to be a bit more careful. He's been he's been like the wild card on the team. When he manages to do well, it helps it helps the team out a lot because Axe, as much as he can try to space and land a lot of hits, he's not going to be landing the kills not for the all. most part. He landed a couple of crucial kills last time, but still, the makeup of the team is clearly built for Chad to take care of that role. Yes, definitely. Chillin' dude and Milkman look to have adjusted very well with the lead. Toon Link taking a lot of damage. They might have found the secret to hitting Toon Link and staying on him. Uh, they've been doing pretty good, I think. Yeah. I think I saw C4 going off there. Either either way. Chillin is tanking like nobody's business right now. That's the beauty of Snake. He ate that there there are, uh, there are some synergy issues right now with Axe and Chad. X was going in thinking that Chad had set up a follow-up for him, but Chad ended up throwing. It's just like the understanding isn't quite there right now, but they might still be bringing us back until... Hit with that up air. This is not looking good for the blue team right now. X needs to, X needs to kind of bring it together right now. X doing a great job against the uh, Milkman guy right now, though. He's shooting all those projectiles, just zoning them out. He's kind of get back into it. He is the rock on this team right he, now. Definitely. Snake, snake whistles, misses that grab. Get, get some of the back air, though. Mule kick. Oh, he went for the down air. Good DI by Axe to just not make it a problem. Oh, nice down smash. Good teamwork there. Well, apart from Chad throwing that last projectile necessarily, but... Axe is doing a great job of not taking damage in stock. He's only at 49% and still doing a lot of work and a lot of damage. Oh, he's going for the up smash, so he's fishing for a killer right now. He's trying to make something happen. 
Oh, oh Chillin, there it is again. Chillin tried to get a little greedy there. Ooh. All gets hit by the full charge, and he's gone. That was a great placement by Chad. Oh, there goes Chad's stock, though. They're down to one stock each right now. Apart, apart from Milkman reprising his role from earlier. Oh, wow, he almost set himself right up for that tipper. Yeah. Barely gets out of the way. Chillin' taking a few hits right now. He's going to be okay with trading for a little while, but I know he doesn't want to do that for too long. Uh-uh. But Marth, Marth is just take, taking, or it's doing so much damage right now on the stock he has, but that might oh, be the end of it. The commentator's curse once again. All right, well, it's all down to Chad. And, uh, I don't like his odds. Wukari is a viable 2v1 character, though. He is. I, I don't know. He hasn't shown enough this set to make me think he's going to take this. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I would like that. to see it. Yeah, that'd be pretty hype. Oh, he's got he's got all that hidden range right now, but he's he's going to get forced into a lot of bad decisions just by virtue of the 2v1 situation. Oh, oh, my goodness. He got style on. Chillin'. <laughs> Chillin' with a very well-placed C4. Manages to end it. 